Pisces, come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the Grand Vibes channel. I appreciate you guys. Uh, for those who are coming back, I appreciate your love, support. I appreciate you guys for coming to show, uh, show interest in the channel. If you guys haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. Quick hit right now. Make sure you hit the notification bell. You guys want to book your personal readings, um, you can do that through Cash Out, PayPal. More simple process. If not, you guys, um, I do have uh, the website link in the description box, okay? Now, let's go ahead and jump into you guys' read. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait. I had to say this too. Guys, if you haven't followed the Facebook page, I do daily generals over there every day, whether it's a post, um, a video, etc it's a lot of stuff over there that's not going to be on youtube so Taurus family take a chance take a second go follow us on facebook at grand vibes llc and i'll take with a quick second y'all and then like i said man, with the reason i always have to say this is because if i see that you guys are showing interest in the videos it makes me want to keep dropping content okay so we have to support each other we got to keep this thing going all right so with that being said Taurus, let's go ahead and jump into you guys' reading guys do not make the roles fit for you they do not fit i have to say this again do not make the roles fit if they do not fit. All right. First card you got out is the devil card. Okay. Somebody is feeling chained to something. Somebody is feeling bound to something. Possibly obsessed with something or someone. The devil card can also bring toxic connections. It can also bring toxic connections. The devil card represents Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Whatever it is, whatever it is, uh, Pisces family. Uh, I'm, I'm, did I say Taurus earlier? I'm sorry, y'all. This is not um, uh, this is not um, Taurus. This is Pisces. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't beat me up, please. <laughs> but um, yeah, you a lot of you guys could be dealing with Cap or the Capricorn, okay? Whatever the situation is, this situation it brings a place of being in a toxic place. Being in a toxic place, it could be when I say toxic, meaning it could be the place of obsession. It could be the place of obsession. Whatever it is, look, you got the five of ones. It's bringing conflict. It's bringing confusion. Somebody is having a lot of bickering moments. Somebody is going back and forth with somebody. They're not feeling it. They're not loving it. But you guys find yourself in this place where you haven't moved yet, Pisces. Why? Because you're feeling bound, changed to somebody. You could have kids with them. That's probably why you haven't moved. You don't know. You don't know. You A lot of you holding on to history. Huh? A lot of you holding on to history. That's why you haven't moved yet. But, you, but you're dealing with these conflicts every day. You're dealing with these battles, these little arguments, these petty disagreements. Everything that's not making you feel like feeling, feeling, feeling solid within yourself, Pisces. You don't feel like yourself. You don't feel like yourself. You know, you can see this, this, this connection is toxic, yet you're still holding on to it. Look, next card you got is the Ten of Cups. This is what you're manifesting. This is what you guys are manifesting for. You could possibly have a new a new love situation in your in your sights right now. Wait, hold on. Is that is that where the conflict is coming from? Because a lot of this it, it may not even be somebody you battling within around you. It could be something you battling within yourself. Hmm. Because now you finally got this. You finally got something new around you. Something that's feeding the, the, the parts you that, that's that's been that you feeling has been dead for so long. Something that's that a a a, a, a soul spark. Ooh. Let's say that again. A soul spark. You finally feeling it. Or maybe you felt it in the past and you didn't act on it. Why? Because you got the four of cups right here. When somebody's in that place of feeling like they missed the opportunity. Somebody's in that place of feeling like they missed out on something. Something that could have brought them abundance. Somebody that could have brought them something. Somebody that could have gave them the solid family. The, the union that you guys was manifesting for. Huh? That's why you guys is in your head. That's what that's where this conflict coming from. This confusion. Because you were stuck to something that you couldn't release. You were tied to something. You were tied to an emotion or a person that you felt like you could not release when this you when you had this opportunity in front of your face. You didn't move on it. You didn't move on it. So in return, what it did for you, it brought back karma. It brought back karma. So now you feel like you're dealing with the karma of you not being in that place where you should have moved. A lot of you, a lot of you, wrecking your brains all night, torturing yourselves. Torture on yourselves. Excuse me. Torture on yourselves. Like you, you basically 
beating your head 24 seven about this opportunity. Cause you felt it was abundant. You knew that it could have brought you something different. Which also could be in a place why you feeling like you feeling like you you have to revert from something. You have to revert for something. Because this was all you ever made. This all this was all you ever wanted. This is all you ever prayed for. And for you to finally be in this for you to finally have had it in your grasp and you didn't make a move on it. It got you in your head. It got you feeling down. Beating yourself up. And I'm sorry, I can't be the one to tell you guys that. Because I preach this all the time. If you guys watch my channel, you, you know I preach this all the time. People don't believe that people don't believe that the universal will will turn because they so stuck in the fact that 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 God that you have to understand, God still gives us free will. So yes, God is gonna drop it in your path, but you still have to do the work. That's only half the battle. You still have to do the work to show God and show the universe that you want it. You have to walk to it. It's not just gonna drop in your lap. You have to work for this. With you even getting up to this point of doing the work on yourself, you had to work for this Pisces. It didn't just happen. And a lot of you in this place where you feel like, okay, well, well if, if it's if it's for me, it, it'll drop for me. You're right, it will. But what justice is it gonna do if you don't if you don't handle it and you don't nurture it the right way? What justice? What is the point of you getting the manifestation that you're praying for if you don't nurture it? If you just get it and let it die, it's almost like it was no point for you. It's it, it, it's almost like it was no point for it, huh? So now a lot of you in this place are, 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 of wanting to know if this person is even still available. Now you don't even know if they're available. Maybe possibly because they probably been pulling away from you. They may have been pulling away from you because you haven't been showing any signs of interest. You haven't been showing any signs of interest. So now you in this place where where, where it's kind of what binding you down. You don't even know what what where to do. Feeling like you lost something that was that was so important to you, huh? Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into you guys' oracle cards. The first oracle card you got is nothing will come of this situation. Nothing will come of this situation. You know what that mean? Huh? You know what that mean? Being in this place right here. Being in this place right here. You knew. You already knew that being. You, you, it, the situation is already happy. It's already done. It's already played out. It's either you in a situation now. Where 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 where, where either you going to attempt. To make a move. And hope, pray for the best, or you got to get out your headspace and move forward. That's all you can do, Pisces. You don't have a choice. Excuse me, guys. You don't have a choice. It's either you, it's either you, it's either you get out of your headspace and attempt to try to make them. You can always attempt because I, I look. I'm the type of person I tell I tell anybody if if you feel it on your heart, it's nothing wrong with trying. Cause sometimes trying can change things. You never know what this person is, it, it may be going through as well, what they may be feeling about you as well. But you would never know if you don't try. And I'm always knowing that Pisces, you guys probably had that, probably had that that hard outer core, probably making it seem like you didn't really care about this person the whole time you did. So now you, now you, now, you, now that's what really got you in your space because this whole time you really did give a damn about them. This was a life lesson. This was a life lesson. Maybe, and it's so crazy because maybe the person really wasn't for you. But maybe it's showing, and I just seen 911. Maybe this person really wasn't for you. Maybe this is just showing you that for the next person that do come in your life, for you to not to act so stuck, not so stuck up in your way. For you not to be act so stuck up in your way. That when the next time a person does come, come around that's showing you that they, that they want to be all for you, you are going to move on it and you're going to embrace it. Because you know what it was like to lose something that a uh, feeling, a vibe that you not that you feel you you'll never get back again, huh? Or possibly, I'm not gonna say never, because I feel like I, I honestly do feel like if some of you do at least tr uh, try to attempt, you may see a, a result better better than what you thinking, greater than what you thinking, but it's not gonna come until you until you make the move. 
Let's go up into you guys' oracle. The next oracle card you got is look at the bigger picture. This is part of what I was just saying. Maybe this, maybe it was, maybe it was for never for this person to be for you. Maybe it was just a wake up call for you to get on your junk for the next person that comes in your life, for the next person that's coming to show you that they that they're willing to go all out for you. You're gonna move on it. You're not gonna be hesitant. Next card you got out. Your dreams need a practical plan. This is all everything we were just talking about. You can't hold you. You can't manifest for something or, or, or want something, but still holding on to past situations, past habits. You can't do it, Pisces. There's no way you can do it. You have to make room for something to come in. It's ultimately what it's ultimately what put you in this position that you're in right now, huh? Last but not least, last Oracle card you got is a Fury Climax Approaches. Ooh. So look, for this to be the last card you got out, this is the this is the the the, the solidify the, the 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 cake of the cake, I'm gonna say. This is the cake of the cake. This is letting you guys know that for some of you, if you do attempt to reach out to this person, it's gonna be abundant. You, you're gonna get a better result than what you think, than what you thought. You're going to get a better result than what you thought. It's going to bring passion. And also, for some of you, the opportunity is just gone. It's just, almost, it's just basically saying that, that you have another opportunity that's about to approach. And how you deal with this is going to determine how you move forward with your future. Because now that you got the confirmation, now that you've received the confirmation to get out of your stubborn way, you will know how to move from here on, Pisces. Because you know that you 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 basically being shown that that your old ways, your old toxic ways don't serve you. You can't move the same with everybody. A lot of you been in a place where you've been dealing with hurt people. So you move like you move like you're dealing with a hurt person. You don't move like you're dealing with somebody that's that that's 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 bringing you sunshine, that's bringing you abundance, that's bringing you stability, that's feeding your soul and your spirit. You didn't move like that. But now you can. Now you have the opportunity. Now you have the opportunity, so it's going to be about what you do with it, Pisces. Okay? Let's go.